The Saudi bankroll circuit, which has already attracted some of the biggest names in Cameron Smith, Dustin Johnson, Bryson DeChambeau, Brooks Kepka, and Phil Mickelson, is understood to have agreed on deals with four players currently in the world's top 50 in the official World Golf Rankings, the OWGR, ahead of a new $405 million Live Golf League getting underway next year. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at who is moving to Live Golf next. Yeah, you heard it right. According to our source, Live Golf has not wanted any confirmed transfers to get out this month and consequently take the shine off the remaining events on the schedule, especially with their season-ending team championship on the horizon. Four players currently in the world top 50 will be joining Live Golf in 2023. A Live Golf insider has told Golf Magic. Everyone in Live Golf is super tight-lipped at the minute as they want to get through the next three weeks and their season finale without anything overshadowing it. One of the expected names of the current World Top 50 to make a move to Live Golf in 2023, we have been told by our source, is Mito Pereira. The Chilean agonizingly threw away his chances of a maiden major title at the 2022 US PGA Championship when making a double bogey on the 72nd hole, having held a one-shot lead at the time. Pereira is understood to have wanted to play in the President's Cup for the first time in his career last month before making the move to join his good friend Joaquin Neiman on the Live Golf Tour in 2023. He played in the President's Cup but only took a half point from three matches as the United States ran out of comfortable winners. The remaining three names in the World Top 50 ready to link up with Live Golf next year remain unknown, but there's been plenty of speculation on social media about a number of star names currently on the PGA Tour. One name constantly being linked to Live Golf is Australia's Adam Scott. Scott last week confirmed that he still wants to win major championships and play for the biggest events around the world. However, he's more than happy for his compatriot, Cameron Smith, to make him an offer to join his Live Golf team. Will the lure of tens of millions of dollars in guaranteed cash and a starting place in the All-Australian Punch GC be enough to persuade the 42-year-old to leave the PGA Tour? Let's see. Then, there is the ongoing scenario involving best buddies Patrick Canley and Xander Schauffele, who have not exactly declared their full allegiance to the PGA Tour in recent months. Canley certainly did not sound 100% devoted to life on the PGA Tour when he said this two weeks ago at the President's Cup. Of course, it would still be a huge shock to many of us if both Canley and Schauffele, current world number 4 and number 5, turned their backs on the PGA Tour for lives on Greg Norman's controversial new circuit. But, just as we've seen from a lot of players this year, money talks. Either way, you can pretty much guarantee both Canley and Schauffele will make a joint decision on the matter and all will be revealed very soon. Then there's Hideki Matsuyama. There's something of a gray cloud still hanging over the future of former Masters champion Matsuyama who has reportedly been offered in the region of $400 million to join the Live Golf Tour. Live Golf CEO Greg Norman is wanting to take Live Golf tournaments all around the world, and especially Asia, so he would desperately love to have Japan's number one sports star leading the line for him where those events are concerned next year. However, our source tells us that the PGA Tour is doing everything they can to prevent Matsuyama, in particular, from going to Live Golf. Right now, it would seem like Matsuyama is more than likely to stick rather than twist. The same can also be said of former world number one, John Rahm, who quickly burst the live golf bubble when declaring his loyalty to the PGA Tour last month. Although he may have just ruffled a few feathers at the DP World Tour and PGA Tour with his victory speech at the Open de Espana. Another big name being linked to live golf, and he has been for a while now, is Norway's Victor Hovland. Should the exciting Hovland decide to join live golf, it would be a huge blow for both the PGA Tour and DP World Tour. Other players that have been linked to Live Golf in recent weeks include Sebastian Munoz, Lucas Herbert, and Thomas Peters. Although we would be a little surprised to see the latter take the plunge, especially given that you would think that he has every chance of a second Ryder Cup appearance in 2023. Terrell Hatton's name has also been thrown around by some people for a potential shock move to Live Golf. But we reached out to Hatton's management team earlier this week, and they made it abundantly clear to us that the Englishman is a PGA Tour player. The latest rumor we have heard about four eminent live golf player transfers comes just 24 hours after Greg Norman's tour struck a strategic allegiance with the Dubai-based Mina Tour in order for them to receive valuable OWGR points. They initially thought it was a done deal, and even James Corrigan of The Telegraph reported exactly that. Norman's Live believe that they have found a loophole to allow their players to start earning world ranking points in their invitational events, thus enabling their fields to still be able to qualify for golf's four major championships. 
Even Brooks Kepka's wife, Jenna Sims, got particularly excited about the news. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.